Hey guys. They need a director. <laughs> What's happening, film friends? Dave the Film Junkie here. All right, there's been much speculation. I mean, uh, a DC property already got Steven Spielberg. Um, we're still kind of waiting more on details about that. I mean, big time details. We don't even know for sure if uh, Spielberg is actually going to be directing um, the whatchamacallit movie, the uh, Black Hawk movie. Uh, we know that he's been wanting to do it for a long time. Who knows if it's going to connect with the DCU. Might be its own thing. We don't really know the details, but we do know, I mean, what, what we're hearing, a lot of people who are, you know, got sources who are in the biz are saying that more big directors might be coming aboard for DC properties. And it's like, oh, well, this is pretty exciting. And one name that keeps getting thrown around is Peter Jackson. And now we got a new rumor from uh, The One Ring. And they're reporting that um, Peter Jackson and his New Zealand production crew are currently pondering over signing on um, Amazon's Lord of the Rings series, the Middle Earth series, that actually, you know, Peter Jackson had some involvement in developing it. It's been in a couple of years, well, you know, and uh, so we we have that right there, which makes sense, obviously. I mean, he's he's, you know, he's been balls deep in that world, so why wouldn't he want to sign over that? But the rumor is also suggesting that he might... Come over to the DCEU. Of course, we all celebrate it. We're like, oh my God, Peter Jackson. There you go. Big time director. We could use some of that. I mean, we already got some uh, pretty good directors over on this side and everything. So uh, yeah, to add that to the DCU resume is going to be uh, pretty good. But the question is, which which movie would he actually direct or write or produce or whatever? Well, we're going to go with directing here. Now, I've been seeing a lot of people on my timeline just immediately go into uh, Green Lantern Corps. And I kind of, you know, thought to myself, why would they want Peter Jackson to direct a movie that involves a ring and the main character or characters fighting, you know, reaching towards the light and um, resisting the darkness? Beats me. And while I wouldn't oppose to him directing uh, Green Lantern Corps at all, I mean, I think any property that he wants, he can direct. I mean, some people are like, what about Man of Steel 2? That would be awesome too. But, I, you know, a lot of people too, and I actually do agree with this. And uh, some people are like, well, why couldn't he direct New Gods? That's right up his alley. I'm like, yeah, but the wrinkle in time chick is going to get it instead. Again, I hope she knocks it out of the park. She, she you know, we'll see what happens with that. Anyways. But I'm sitting here going, well, <laughs> Justice League Dark needs a director. I mean, it's, you know, it had, I mean, I don't want to have him have Del Toro's sloppy seconds again because obviously Del Toro was developing The Hobbit and then Jackson came aboard and, and tried to uh, salvage that and it turned out it didn't, uh, it, it wasn't that good and it was pretty messy and he knows that it was, it was pretty messy. So that would kind of, I, I don't know if you'd want to do that again, but I'm just saying it just seems like it'd be more up his alley than uh, some of the other ones out there. I mean, um, I don't know what else. I mean, their cyborg is up in the air. It could just be a random one that we don't know of. Hell, I mean, it's not going to be... I don't know what else it could be. It would have to be probably Green Lantern, Justice League Dark, um, or Man of Steel 2, you know? But I, I would... My suggestion would be Justice League Dark. I think I think he'd uh, fit perfectly with that, but only time will tell, guys. And... Uh, from what I, we're hearing, too, is like there's another one, another director that's up there with Steven Spielberg, like the same caliber as Steven Spielberg. Now, a lot of people are thinking, well, they're just talking about Jackson. I'm like, are they really talking about Jackson? Because, yeah, Peter Jackson, I mean, he made his mark making some pretty big movies, but, I mean, he's mainly known for Lord of the Rings. I was thinking, like, what other director would be up to the caliber of Spielberg? And I'm like, Ridley Scott can very well be someone else. I mean, of course, everybody wants... Uh, deny Vignette, you know me, I can't say his last name, but you know what I'm talking about. Dennis, you know, Arrival, Prisoners, all you know, you know what I'm talking about, Sicario. Um, I actually have a, a video that I recorded, then I deleted because I recorded like two weeks ago. I'm gonna, I'm gonna post it this weekend of what DC movie that I would like, deny, deny, whatever, Dennis, <laughs> I like to call him Dennis. Uh, I'm going to let you guys know which, uh, which one, yeah, if you follow me on Twitter, you already know which one I'm talking about, but, uh, I'm going to do, I'm going to post that video anyways, because I mean, I think I know the perfect one that he would direct, but I think he's, he's full on with the Dune franchise. I'm pretty sure that he's going to be working on that for like the next few years or whatever. So I don't think he's going to be coming over to the DCU, but you never know. 
But uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts about it down below, guys. Which property do you think Peter Jackson would direct if he does, in fact, come over here and doesn't do the Middle Earth thing? Let me know down below. Hit that like thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to my channel. Visit FilmJunkie.com for all my content. And, of course, visit the closet for shirts and stickers. All right, guys? I'll talk to you later.